You know, I don't know whether you have ever found yourself so focused on maybe watching a TV programme, maybe playing on the computer, reading a book. You've been so focused that actually you've missed or you're late to do what you were actually planning to do. Maybe you were late to, to a function or you were awake, late to a party because you got distracted doing what you were doing. In Romans 13, Paul is talking about how it's so important for us to wake up and not be distracted by the, all the day-to-day -day stuff that we do, all the day-to-day -day distractions, and we take our eyes off God. He says, wake up! Don't just get on with your life. Don't just do all of the everyday stuff, but, you know, focus on God. See that what He is doing, because God is always at work. And you in your generation need to be aware that God is at work in you. And don't just be distracted by everything that's going on around you. And do this, understanding the present time. The hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over, the day is almost here. So let us put aside our deeds of darkness and put on the armour of light. Let us behave decently as in daytime, not in all these and drunkenness, not in sexual immort immorality, debauchery, not in dissension and de jealousy. Rather, clothe yourself with the Lord Jesus Christ and do not think about how to gratify the desire of sin, the sinful nature. So how are you going to live your life? You know, if our life was represented by this rope, this rope goes on and 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 on. Well, it doesn't stop. You see, our life goes on for all eternity. Maybe not on this world, but the thing is, is that for many, many people, we only focus on the little bit, on the little bit of life where we are alive on this earth. The rest is determined 
and goes on for all eternity. But we only focus on making sure that we have fun, we make sure we try and work hard so we have a good job, maybe a flash car like the Bugatti, maybe we have a big house, you know, maybe we have some great holidays, maybe a cruise when we retire. And all of our living, all of our focus, all of our attention is making sure that the short period we are on this earth is lived to the max with no thought of all the rest of eternity, okay? For you and I, we've got a choice. And Paul's saying in Romans 13, wake up, wake up, don't you realise that time is short? You know, God is already there crafting and preparing eternity for us, and time is short. We've got to live the short period of time we have on this earth on purpose. And he's saying the important way we need to live it is to love others, to be able to share the love of God in the way that we act, in the way that we, in the way that we live our lives, in the way that we care for others, in the way that we behave and we teach. And, we, and so he's saying, focus on the whole life of the string, not just the short periods. Make sure you're living right with God so you can be confident that all eternity you are going to be in heaven. As we've been looking in Romans, Paul's been teaching us how we should live our lives as Christians. You know, we will make mistakes and there will be times when we're tempted to live as the world does. But the truth of the matter is, is that if we choose to run after God and draw closer to him, we will make the right choices. Romans 13 verse 14 says, Let the Lord Jesus Christ be as near to you as the clothes you wear. Then you won't try to satisfy your selfish desires. Guys, this week, as you spend time being quiet with God, get as close as you can to him. As close as your clothes are. The close. So that you know that God is with you and you make the right choices in the attitudes and the decisions you make. Have a great week. God bless.